the final women's 200 breaststroke. Hannah Bach of Ohio State in one. Katja Kovacevic of Trackman's Aquatic Club E2. Margo McDonald in lane three. Abigail Hursu of California Aquatics in four. Her teammate Lucia Henry in lane five. Christiana Williams of Aztec Aquatics in six. And Jenna Fadley of the Princeton Tigers in lane seven. For McDonald, 34.69 on the way out, 100 meters. Bagley, 34.79, sitting in second right now. Halfway point. Looks like Lynch Henry has the lead. 113.75 for her at the halfway. 114.24. We're still in second. Al Barron's going 1 2 right now. Long way to go. Margot McDonald in lane three is charging. Princeton Tiger seated with a 238.49 this morning. Also keep an eye on Katja Pavasevic in lane two. Trayton's Aquatic Club. He's only six tenths of a second back at the 100 meter mark. Henry found another gear. 38-8 to even split the middle 100 of this 200 breaststrokes B final. Kovacevic moving into second, but it's a distant second as Alicia Henry has opened up. Here comes lane seven, Jenna Fadley. Her best time, a 234.04. She's having a fantastic final 50 meters, but it will all be too late for everyone because Henry has taken it away. 232.01 for Alicia Henry winning this B final. Jenny Fendley jumping from fifth to second on the second 100. Going to 234.48. And then a 234.81 for Kovacevic in lane two, finishing in third. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the A final of the women's 200 breaststroke. Introducing your A finalist, swimming in lane one from Longhorn Aquatics, Channing and Lay. Lane two from Irvine Nova Aquatics, it's Caitlin Wynn. Lane three from Australia, Michaela Smith. Lane four, also from Australia, Ella Ramsey. Lane five from Trojan Swim Club, Isabel Odgers. Lane six from Gator Swim Club, Emma Wyan. Lane seven from Ohio State University, Joseph Panett. 
And in lane eight from Indiana Swim Club, Brianna Crawford. A final of the women's 200 breaststroke. Event winners in the water right now. Wyatt won the 400 IM. Ramsey won the 200 IM. And Smith won the 100 breaststroke. Will one of them add a second top finish to their weekend? Or could somebody like Isabel Andres find their way to the top spot? Andres second in the 100 breaststroke. In the A final in this event at the national championships. Earlier this month, Michaela Smith, though, is out quick. You'd expect as much from the 100 breaststroke champion, 32.37 for her. Her best time in this event at 2.26.05. She was a 2.30.01 in the prelims. There's some room for improvement for sure. Olympic trials cut in this event at 2.31.69. A few ladies under that mark this morning, three to be precise, Smith and Ramsey, who obviously aren't going to be attending the American Olympic Trials, and Isabel Audgers in lane five. Audgers in third at the 100, Ramsey in second, Smith in the lead, and it's a big lead for Michaela Smith. Like I said, Smith's best time, 226.05. Question is, can anyone track her down on the back half? Isabel Audgers looks like she's already passed. Noah Ramsey, but is she gonna run out of real estate? Or can she make a very, very difficult final 50? 1.9 seconds is what she would have to make up. Be very difficult. Ramsey putting in a very good swim right now. 147.77 at the 150. Audrey's in second. Ramsey in third. Michaela Smith rather in the lead. Caitlin Wynn within striking distance. Everybody's starting to reel in that lead of Michaela Smith. Is it going to be too little too late? Was the lead enough going into this final 50? She had a two second lead. Ramsey might have made the pass already. But it'll be the Aussies 1-2. 2 41 for Ella Ramsey. Taking the win on 37-6 on the final 50 meters. Michaela Smith finishing in second in the 227-63. Isabel Audgers in third with a 228-15. 229-86 for Caitlin Wynn. Best time for her. 